Hey everyone, it's your buddy Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be jumping straight into gameplay featuring a level 50 versus a level 60 in the open world. We're actually playing right around Morningdale, uh, so we've actually kind of been fighting for a little while. He's been shooting me with arrows. I was actually completing this boss while he was shooting me, just kind of healing up, so that's why I'm starting a little low right now and trying to just fend for myself as I try to get some health back. Um, I did want to complete that quest, that boss fight, so I didn't have to come back to it, and that's exactly what I did. So it looks like he's running a rapier and bow, and I'm running fire staff and rapier US. I've seen this build many, many times. It's quickly become one of my favorites. Uh, you know, during the release, I'm sure there'll be other favorites as well, and I'll try to level up everything. But, you know, right now, Rapier and Fire Staff, very, very strong, really fun to play. Uh, so I am starting this fight a little lower on the low side. We've talked about really the amount of PvP scaling that does take place in New World gives every level a chance to really fight back, I feel like, in my opinion at least. Uh, you know, I fought back against a couple level 60s by now, and every single fight has been close. Uh, I haven't really actually lost a fight against a level 60 yet. I've only had them running away or getting the kill. So, you know, the scaling, I think, you know, is actually very, very even at the very least uh, for lower levels to kill, low, uh, you know, higher levels. So, here we have him running away. I'm actually, you know, back on top of the situation with higher health and as he has lower health. It's very hard to kill as we have mobs running around. So at some point, I do believe I start attacking these mobs and just trying to clear these things out of the way so that we can have a really, you know, a fair fight. Um, but while doing so, uh, you'll see that we do have a couple of abilities that hit there. I did miss a couple as well. Trying to get some rapier autos on him. Not making much contact. He's not making much contact either. The one thing that uh, we do have in common is a lot of mobility. So the fact that we both have a lot of mobility makes this fight last quite a while. So I did want to kind of, uh, you know, stress the idea of PvP scaling is on 4-4. So if you guys are maybe a level 40, maybe a level 30, maybe a level 20, you guys have a chance of fighting against higher levels. So definitely attempt it as I run myself directly into that wall here. Still trying to get some autos off. He's in a really bad spot right here. So I have a chance to take him out. However, look at that. We have three mobs running on top of me. He gets healed to full health at this point he's th throwing stuff at me trying to do abilities back at him but you know i'm getting in a rough situation with three mobs chasing me so at this point i'm trying to just quickly recover some health and uh you know come right back at him uh like i said at some point i do try to just kill these mobs um, but i do get a nice pillar of flames there a pillar of fire and uh hit my q a little bit there with like 27 damage not much at all but you know now we are in a little bit of more of a melee range state he didn't attack me through my repost. I kind of missed that repost for sure. Uh, potting up again, like I said, still getting chased by these mobs. So at this point, I believe I do start trying to auto these mobs down and uh, just get them out of the fight as I missed so many autos there. Uh, at this point, I was kind of frustrated with the mobs, you know, continuing to come into play. I did want to just even fight. And at this point, he was doing more of a head glitch. Pretty much impossible for me to win a head glitch. So I will just kind of, you know, fight or run away a little bit, faking a run away at least to bait him out of that terrible spot for me. Uh, so now he's kind of out of that spot. I'm fine with fighting this little bit of a range fight here. Uh, I believe I can hit more shots than him, so that's exactly what I do. As I hit three consecutive shots, I miss my fireball, miss my pillar of flames, go on for a dash. He actually does a repost, so I don't believe he takes any damage there. Um, he's now running at me a little bit, trying to get closer range. I get a good repost, good backstab, so we're getting some good damage off finally. Uh, I try to, you know, actually go through there, not really making much contact. Then uh, Fire Staff really missing a lot of abilities yet again. And uh, that's one thing you'll notice, like I said, with so much mobility, it's very, very hard to hit consecutive shots. Definitely for him with a bow and definitely for me with a Fire Staff trying to get all heavy attacks as heavy attacks don't consume mana uh, is one of my passives. So here I'm using my Fire Staff yet again to use mobility and go right through him, do some damage. He's coming on to me real quickly here and... Uh, you know, still trying to use that fire staff. Slow him down a little bit. Maybe get some hits. Some big, uh, you know, burst. As that, you know, wolf is still attacking me here, unfortunately. I get a good hit here. This is, I believe, where I get a lot of chunking on him. And uh, there he gets a repost. But I hit a repost right back to his repost. We've got him very, very weak now, finally. Uh, kind of chasing him down. And uh, this is exactly where I want him. You know, I've got some good health on him. Uh, you know, I've got full health. He's got about three fours. However, I'm still trying to dodge abilities or by the wolf. And that's exactly what's going to cost a lot of my stamina and cause a lot of missing out of my, uh, you know, abilities here. Um, so now I decide I'm going to take this wolf out. This wolf is, you know, I've had enough taking it out. So now we're back. Full health versus full health, 50 versus level 60 here, um, and now we're going to see what does take place. So he has actually a decent spot, or you know, behind this rock can play it pretty well. I did hit a good pillar of flame every time he goes for that attack where he uses three, uh, three different arrows there. I get a really, really good pillar of flame or pillar of fire. I'm not sure exactly what the wording is there, but you know, here we actually are in more of a just a melee fight. And he asked me really weak here, so I was actually getting nervous. I was like, I was winning this whole fight, and I may have just choked. So at this point, I hit a nice fireball. We're both one HP, and what happens? 
I hit him on his three burst. So he actually went for a three burst. And I want to say that's definitely not the right move in that exact spot because he did so well in a lot of that fight. However, when he uses his three burst, obviously he does stand still. And uh, I was able to take advantage of just getting a nice, easy auto attack off during his standstill ability. So I do get 3k XP during this as well. I do have level 20 uh, fire staff and level 20 rapier. So I don't get any ma uh, weapon mastery here. But, you know, a great experience, a great time fighting level 60. Just want to give you guys, you know, my thoughts on PvP scaling while also kind of deep diving into this 50 versus 60 fight. As a lot of people I've complained in past videos about me maybe taking on level 30s as a 40 or uh, so on and so forth. And I want to say, guys, realistically, you know, PvP scaling is there. We've done, we've tested it uh, quite a bit. Me and Alf, uh, one of my buddies I play with on New World, he's actually going to have a YouTube channel in the description of the video if you guys want to check him out as well. He tough plays a lot of Great Axe and Hatchet as well as moving into a little bit more of a Rapier Ice Gauntlet build that he's going to talk about in a little bit as well. But, you know, I I do want to say, guys, PvP scaling is ridiculous. You know, you can actually take fights against higher levels and have a great shot at winning. So definitely keep that in mind. And uh, thank you guys again for tuning in, making sure to quickly subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on and like the video. Would greatly appreciate it. Thanks again, guys. I'll see you guys all in the next one.